What is up, heroes? This is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Zero Escape Virtue's Last Reward Blind. In the last episode, we rushed through the pantry because I had to get going, and it's now been a few days since I last recorded that episode. I've had a few night shifts in a row, and my next one is going to be during the day, so I'm in a little bit of a weird circadian rhythm at the moment, um, but I'm trying to stay awake and keep going. And I thought, what else could keep me entertained than Virtue's Last Reward? So here we are, we have another elevator, huh? <laughs> Think this actually works? Dunno. Only one way to find out, though. Hey! Someone's coming. That quick pivot turn. Luna, Clover, and Kay. With Dio, Quark, and Nalus tagging along, looks like. And out of breath, it seems. What's going on here? We bumped into them a little while ago. Who thought we'd bump into you, too? Let me see the map. Oh, sure. Oh, that's right, they're at this part where they just demonstrate that all of the different routes come back to this area. Ah, I get it. All three routes end up here. Wonder, is this something we can skip? Nope. Okay. Then, sorry about that. What did we miss? Just prior, K had said that map. It's just like the one we found in the crew quarters. And it was like, crew quarters? Ah, Oh, we found a map like that, too. There was one in the lounge. There's a lounge? Anyway, ours was in the infirmary. Hmm. Maybe we should sit down for a bit and exchange information. Yeah, it's not a bad plan. No. There's plenty of time for that after we check out this elevator. Okay, fair point, fair point. So this should take them down to warehouse B, right? Or is that only after the second set of chromatic doors? Maybe that's the case. I don't exactly remember. Oh man, it looks like it's gonna storm out there. It does not look pretty. None. Just my luck. Start recording. It's gonna be like another thunderstorm and then there'll be fireworks. What the? This is just like the other floor. These doors have colors on them too. The one on the left is green. The one in the middle is blue. And the one on the right is red. Are these chromatic doors? Look, there's a box here. It looks like the ones we saw earlier. It's funny to be so early on in the game again. For the first time in a long time. Lock. Huh. Yeah, won't budge. Just like the other doors. No good trying to force it open, I suppose. Is something wrong, Alice? You've been staring at your bracelet. Oh. No, I'm fine, but it looks like my guess was right. The numbers have changed. Numbers? Oh yeah, the time left. Looks like two hours. Six minutes. Oi, oi, Oh, for Christ's sake. You're telling me we're gonna have to just sit around here for another two hours? Looks like we don't have a choice then. We gotta head back. Sigma, where's that note you found? 
Right. Oh? Did it say something like supplementary rules? Because if it did, we have one too. We found ours in the crew quarters. Yeah, we got one of those. Found it in a safe in the lounge. Here are a few more rules for you. Yep, yep, yep. Basically explain that we can go in and out of the doors after we've opened them. If that's true, then we can all go back the way we came and get into the warehouse. I don't think Zero is saying we can, I think he's saying we have to. I remember that exact line. Otherwise, what's the point of that keycard? You mean this? The Ambidex room key. We found some too. That makes six then. One for each AB room. Let's head back to the warehouse. So when Zero says jump, we say how high, huh? He's Dio has said that quite a few times too. If you don't like it, stay here. A stupid angry mom watching the door sounds about right. Baka. But hope I don't have rabies, you self-satisfied old turd. Wow. Tensions rise yet again. Well, what's it going to be? Are you going to go back with us? Or are you staying here by yourself? Alright, fine. I'm going. Well, it is nice to go back to so early in the game. We have all the characters, sane, alive, you know, all that stuff. It is a little bit of a lull, given that I know we're fairly far from any action, right? The real ends of the timelines are where things really pick up and the big information gets revealed. We really try to deduce and figure out as much as we can. And so I know we're a little bit away from all of that excitement, right? This is the infirmary, then. We were able to walk right in, just like the notes said. That means you can come visit the lounge, too. You'd like it, Grandpa. There's lots of alcohol. They've even got some of your favorite. Oh, ho, well, that sounds great. Maybe I'll go have a drink later. The heck, man? How are you so darn calm? Wait. Grandpa? Did Temyoji and Quark know each other? Were they actually related? I was about to ask when something else caught my attention. Someone behind the divider was talking to someone else. I snuck a look around. I don't remember this. Do you think there's a connection? I can't be sure yet, but there's no way this is all just a coincidence. Yeah, there's even a zero. Oh, they're talking about a connection from this Nona game to the prior. Whatever it is that's going on, we need to get in touch with headquarters, and fast. Headquarters? Run by your boy... Oh, what was it? J Junpei? Junpei? And Akane, right? <laughs> <laughs> that would be pretty crazy. Yeah, I agree. They've probably figured out we're gone by now. Yeah. Do you think they'll find us? Let's hope so. How are these two connected? Obviously, we know from 999. But we don't know really what filled in the gap between 999 and BLR. The development of some organization, the establishment of some headquarters, some degree of training that both Clover and Alice have gone through, and clearly a shared goal that is still mysterious. We still have the blood from the old woman on the wall. 
Oh, you're finally done? You were taking so long, I hopped off for a little nap. Oh, for yawning? Really? You're just a computer program. Whew. Okay, we can skip the explanation of the Ambidex game. And how the key cards are used. Wait! Oh, they found the woman in this timeline! Interesting! So the woman is in this timeline, too. Whatever, if we examine the wound, we'll probably get a better idea of what the weapon was. Let's get her to the infirmary. Okay. So it's really two of the main timelines we find out about the woman. She might be old, but she's still a woman. If we're going to do an autopsy, she should have some privacy. Come on, boys, let's go. I wonder how things will differ from here on out. Clearly this person's related to Temyoji by some means, right? So it seems like the analysis of the woman's death is the same. Which means maybe the setup, potentially, by whoever did it, is similar. And we know from a different line that Dio co er, confessed to killing the old woman. And then there's the whole question of moving the different crates, right, to uh, to make it seem like it was Luna, potentially? Right. We're really going in there? I kind of don't want to. I mean, there was a dead lady in there just a few minutes ago. What, are you worried there's a ghost or something? No, no, of course not. It's just... Doesn't it bother you? Nope. I don't believe in ghosts. I feel bad that she died, of course. But there's not really anything I can do about that, is there? Darn, you're pretty cold, you know that? <laughs> I prefer bold, but whatever. I just don't let emotions get in the way. That's pretty much the definition of cold. Anyway, let's go. Looks like the others have already gone in. Fine. Who's our opponent this time around? Hmm? What is it? You find a ghost or something? No. Look at the screen. There's something there. The screen. Is this something we can skip? And there goes the door. Yep. Hooray! Everybody's finally here. I've been waiting. So have we. Can I skip this? I can. Oh, we weren't in the pantry. We were in the infirmary, right? So Sigma and Phi paired up with Temyoji and went through the yellow door, didn't they? That means that Sigma and Phi will be playing against Temyoji. And it goes the other way too. Temyoji's opponent will be Sigma and Phi. Obviously that means Potassium, <laughs> K, and Clover's enemy will be Luna. And Dio and Quark's enemy will be Alice. Well, I guess enemy isn't really the right word, is it? After all, if you choose ally, then they're your ally. What? Don't get it? Well, don't worry, just listen while Zero the Third explains it all. Okay, now we can hop into the whole skip for the explanation of the prisoner's dilemma, right? Okay then. I think that about does it for the basic rules. Well, actually there's a little bit more, but that'll just have to wait, I guess. After all, it's almost time. Hey! Wait! Nope. I won't wait, and I can't wait. Didn't you hear me? It is time. One minute remains until Amidex game polling closes. You see? It's time for me to be hopping on out of here. See you later! 
Have a nice trauma. <laughs> nice. Thanks for the kind words, you're the third. If you don't have time to talk about this, rock, paper, scissors. Huh? This is pretty atypical for Fi. Right? She normally is so adamant about betrayal and says, Oh, you have to betray, it's the logical decision. Just do it. And it's either, you know, we go along with what Fi suggests, or we betray Fi by choosing ally. And now she seems to be suggesting rock, paper, scissors to decide who between the two of us votes? Or rock, paper, scissors for something else? We have to decide who's going to press the button. And you think that's a good way to decide? Just shut up and do it. One, two, three. I actually have to choose? That's hilarious. What do people most commonly do? Scissors. So I'm gonna choose rock. Scissors! Rock! Heh. <laughs> Looks like I won. Darn it. I'm sure that's programmed so that the player always wins. So, what are you going to pick? I guess ally? We're playing against Tenmyoji. Do you have any reason to think he won't betray you? Um... I guess not. I mean... It's the whole prisoner's dilemma, right? Yeah. If he does, what does that make our BP? We'd be down to, uh, one point each. But that's not hopeless. I mean, sure, we'll be a little further away from the goal, but all we've got to do is earn those points back. It reminds me of, like, Spongebob. Don't worry, Captain, we'll buff out those scratches, and, like, the whole ship is gone. <laughs> and when will we do that? Okay, well, I don't actually know. But it's pretty obvious that we'll be playing this game more than once. After all, we can't get to 9 BP if we don't. Yeah, I still, I mean, unsurprisingly, guys, I'm feeling ally here, right? We know Temyoji. Temyoji, in most of the timelines, has been pretty trusting and chose ally his first time around. So I think it'll be, I think if we choose ally, we'll both end up picking ally. The other thing is, I've mentioned the very first time we walked through this whole situation is, we're going to be playing this game multiple times around, and so I'm going to lean towards this, the side of being trustworthy and thus trusting during this first round to increase my trustworthiness for future rounds. But, 10 seconds left. Well, you won. The decision's yours. Now decide. Ally or betray. Three, two, one. In that last moment, before the counter reached zero, I made my choice. Ally. And now we see. Round one of the Ambidex game has been completed. Results will be displayed in the warehouse. Thank you for your participation. Ambidex gates now opening. Now it's just a little bit slow with reading through the text, so you know, to just kind of push things along a little bit. It's fine I stepped out of the AB room, I could see the others running toward the projection, shoving and pushing to get closer. Temyoji was left behind, his footsteps slow, heavy plod. What had happened to make him like that? Yeah, I mean, it's clearly the old woman. And it's also worth noting, this is a timeline where we're hoping to gain Temyoji's trust. We know that he can gain some very valuable information. He was aware of Clover and Alice's relationship in other timelines. He eventually finds Quark in one of the timelines, and he doesn't share a lot of information in multiple situations because he doesn't trust people, right? Um, including when he had the, the luminol spray. He wasn't really willing to divulge everything going on there. But in this timeline, we may be able to work together, especially if we start off on the right step here. Sigma. I feel like this, this music always plays when we're confronted after the AB room. It's like, Fai's like, so, you chose blank. And the music's like, what a profound decision. So, you chose ally, huh? You don't get to complain. I won, remember? Not complaining. I just think you're being a little soft-hearted. You're right. I am. Aw, oh, you worry too much. I'm sure Temyoji chose ally too. Of course, now the game 
you know, in the back of my head, I'm thinking the game is probably just gonna rip me apart for choosing Ally. See? That's what I'm talking about. You don't have any facts, just misguided optimism. Yeah, it's pretty fair at the moment. <laughs> you know what would be really interesting is sort of a mechanic from Catherine, where if they provided statistics on with people's first playthroughs when they got to this particular decision, how many of them, or really their first AV game in general for each timeline, how many chose Ally first and how many chose Betray first? I'm, I'm sure we would almost see more optimism. Yo, what's up? Sigma Coon! Bye Coon! Hey! What are you kids doing over there? We're about to announce the results! Let's go. We should have a look at those results. Fine. Good, good, good. Looks like you're all here, finally. Let's get ready to rock. Zero Junior's voice acting is great. It really is. It's so fun to listen to. Even if repetitive at times. Alright, so K, Clover, and Luna. K and Clover betray Luna. Oh, big one, big one, big one. Tenmyoji. Oh, come on! Come on. I knew it, Virtue's last reward. I knew you'd do it to me. I knew it. I knew it. I wanted to trust Tenmyoji. He's such a good guy from all the other timelines. But I knew as soon as I set it up, you would tear it right away from me. So Kay and Clover betray Luna, which is not surprising. Luna picked Ally because she's Luna. Kay and Clover, I'm pretty sure, always betray on the first round. Even with Alice, when it was with Temyoji, now with Luna as well. Dio and Quark betrayed Alice, who chose Ally, which is also surprising. I'm really surprised Alice chose Ally, actually. And I'm surprised, well, Dio and Quark chose Betray. Dio probably pushed for that, but we know that there's some tension there from previous, from other timelines too. And then of course we chose Ally and Temyoji chooses Betray. I'm sure we'll find out why soon. Just get called <laughs> stupid <laughs> by Fi. Here are the results from your game. Now let us check the numbers on your bracelets. Yeah, we'll have to see who the new pairings are. Oh, my neighbor's dog is out and having a ball at the moment. Sigma, Phi. I'm sorry. Why? Temyoji, why? I trusted you. Look, I said I was sorry. But saying sorry isn't going to undo what's been done. See? I told you. A soft heart is the easiest to break. Yeah, I mean, I, I agree with that. Do you understand what kind of game this is now? Just tell me one thing, Temyoji. Why did you do it? Are you serious? Someone's dead. And not just dead, murdered. I got no reason to think that murderer wasn't one of you. Only an idiot trusts someone he's never met when there's a killer on the loose. You think I had a choice? Right. I think that's enough for me. I'm old and I'm tired. I'm so tired. Temyoji shuffled off, the same weight I'd seen earlier sitting heavy on his shoulders. It was only then that I noticed an angry voice nearby. Hey! What the heck is this? I love this. Dio is like so panicked because Alice is pissed. Quark is like looking off in the corner like, Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 
Hey, look, lady, I was gonna choose ally, I swear to God. But just as I'm about to do it, this little Baka runs in and hits the betray button. What? Oh, come on. Really gonna just try and play it dumb, huh? You're a manipulative little twerp, aren't you? Quark, is he telling the truth? Were, were you the one who chose betraying? N no! I didn't do anything. I didn't have a chance to do anything before Dio-san pressed the button. I'm telling the truth, I promise. Sure, sure kid, whatever. The cute innocent act isn't gonna work. No! I... Hmm... Fine. You just wait. Alice turned on her heel and stormed off before Quark could reply, leaving him alone with Dio. Man, this is all your fault, Quark. My fault? Why are you blaming me? How could you do that, Dio-san? You're a jerk. I moved away silently to let them stare daggers at one another. It seemed that theirs wasn't the only team facing some friction, however. We aren't trying to blame you. But I mean, if you just think about it, wouldn't it make sense to choose Betray? Forget it. I understand now. It was silly of me to trust you guys. No, don't break Luna's heart. She's so precious. <laughs> Please don't break her heart, guys. Oh man, what, what's the timeline going to be like where Luna's distrustful of everyone else? It's hard to even imagine. The air in the room seemed to turn thick and sour, hanging over us like a brooding, angry cloud. It was a grim omen of darker times to come. Uh-oh. Zero, when does the next round start? What makes you think we'll be having another round? Well, you said round one. If there's a round one, then there's likely a round two. Besides, didn't you say the goal of the AB game was to get 9 BP? That's impossible without a second round. Can I skip this? I can. Lovely. Again, as good as Zero Jr.'s voice acting is... If I had to guess, I'd say it's going to be Alice, or Sigma Kun, or Fai Kun, or maybe Luna. This is people who are, uh, you know, not gonna do so hot throughout this game. Or maybe everyone. <laughs> what? Why? Yeah. Why am I going to die? You don't really get it, guys? I get it. <laughs> the funny thing we skip to, me being like, you don't get it, guys? And then all of a sudden, Luna, I get it. Sigma Phi, Alice, and I only have one BP. If any of us chose ally and got betrayed, our BP would drop below zero. What the heck? This is important stuff. Why didn't you tell us about this earlier? Sorry. Sorry's not going to cut it. I thought you were supposed to tell us the rules, not hide them. I definitely recall this conversation. Anyways, now we're going to talk about the different colors, right? Yeah, my, my color has changed. It's magenta now. Mine's magenta too. Me too. Hey, wait. It wasn't just the color that changed. 
I'm a solo now. <laughs> Looks like Clover and I are still pairs, though. I'm a yellow pair now. I am yellow as well, but it seems I'm still a pair. Oh, Kay and Alice. What an interesting pair. Then who's the yellow solo? Me. Oh, Dio's a solo. Still a solo. Looks like I'm Cyan. I'm a Cyan pair. Aren't you one too? Yeah. Says pair and the color Cyan. When did they change? Back when the AB gates closed. A little more explanation. A little more arguments. Recollecting how Sigma got, you know, abducted in the first place, as while well, everybody else explores different areas. Sigma being sad. <laughs> Why is this happening to me? I spent a few minutes wallowing in misery. I figured I deserved at least a little self pity. But even I knew that brooding and whining wasn't going to get me anywhere. Like Hay had said, we needed to at least try and find another way out. So I shook my head, stood up straight, and headed off. Okay. Well, uh, we can go to the lounge. That's totally cool. Jeez, my, my computer gets so warm when recording. <laughs> it makes me really warm when I record, too. I'm gonna figure out a good solution to that. It's not like I really have a nice gaming PC setup. Ah, Sigma. Ah, Sigma. Sigma. Hmm, Sigma. K to E, Sigma to E. Yaro bakari zoro zoro to atsumaru na yo. Another dude. This place is turning into a real sausage fest. What are you telling me for? Also, I will note that you're still assuming K is a dude. We don't actually know that. Oh yeah, you were one of the first people in here, weren't you? Yeah, so? Well, did you notice anything? No. Although I guess I did notice that the sofa is pretty comfortable. Uh, okay. How about something more useful? I'd say that the comfort level of a sofa is pretty useful. Right. Dio, what's this? That? What, you can't tell? It's a dirty magazine. <laughs> oh, come on. It's about astronomy. Can you even read? Can you even see? Just look at those rings on Saturn. Don't they excite you? That's actually... I, this is pretty funny. Different strokes, I guess. It appears to be a special dedicated to a lunar eclipse. The cover says the eclipse can be observed on December 31st, 2028. Oh, right. Yeah, I guess it did say something like that. December 31st, huh? That's six days from now, right? Six days, huh? You mean today is December 25th? Yeah. Well, I mean, I think it is. Depends on how long I was out after they hit me with that gas, I suppose. Oh, interesting. So they don't even talk about it, right? I know that in one of the timelines we had a whole conversation about, wait, you you think it's the 25th? I think it's the 27th, right? And um, I think Dio pretends to have been abducted on the 28th or something like that. But we all we obviously know that that's pretty fake. But Kay and Dio don't even get into that conversation this time around. Kay probably... Yeah, that's weird. Kay should know that he was potentially abducted on a day different than, you know, December 25th. Unless they were abducted on the same day. I don't think that's likely, though. And is probably just pondering why that might be the case before offering up that information himself. And introducing that, well, maybe people were abducted on different days. 
Very interesting. Hey, Kay, your team went to the crew quarters, right? Did you find anything? Nothing of interest. You better not be hiding something. There really wasn't anything helpful. At least nothing that could help us escape. There was a book about a cat, though. A cat? What, so now Zero Senior is a crazy cat lady? And just what the- Oops, I got the hiccups. <laughs> and just what the heck are we supposed to do with that tidbit? Well, it's more useful than how comfortable the sofa is. I feel like this is the first time I've got like, a hiccup during a recording session. It's been quite a while, too. Hey, the sofa's comfort level is very useful. Um, what? I think you mis must have misunderstood me. This book isn't for, uh, cat ladies. It's about Schrodinger's cat. Uh, I don't really give a crap about the breed genius. Anyway, I'm a dog person, if you couldn't tell. No, it's not an issue of breed. Okay, okay, okay. So it's a story about poor Mr. Schrodinger and his beloved cat, right? <laughs> Don't tell me, the cat dies at the end. Boo hoo. Fine. Never mind. I wonder if this is Dio being a jerk for whatever reason. Or if there's actually subtle manipulation going on here, that he's trying to push K into not being able to talk about Schrodinger's cat for whatever reason, so that Sigma doesn't realize it, K doesn't have the chance to you know, talk about it in the future, whatever it may be. Just as I was about to open my mouth and tell K that I cared about what he'd found, even if Dio didn't, Luna and Phi appeared. Oh, hello, Sigma. So this is where you were. Did any of you find anything? Nope, we got squat. You were looking though, right? Dio's gonna be like, between the couch cushions, <laughs> Hey, answer me. Oh, uh, well, I mean, we weren't wasting time. I was just asking them what they found. And... nothing. Useless. What about you, Sigma? You were one of the people searching the infirmary, weren't you? Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. It'd take too long to explain. Just have a look at this. I dug the paper out of my pocket and handed it to Luna. That's right, all this stuff about Radical Six. It looks like... A piece of newspaper. Yeah, we found it in the infirmary safe. The headline says... Radical 6 infection spreads. Cure continues to elude authorities. What? What is Radical 6? Just read the article. Okay. Can I skip this? Oh, no, I can't. Okay, the WHO has confirmed that the death toll is estimated to pass 100,000 victims. Immediate quarantine of any infected patients is strongly advised. A cold silence fell over the room. For several long minutes, no one spoke. It was Kate who finally broke the spell. Is there a chance? I mean, I certainly hope it isn't the case, but could it be that this facility is, in fact, one of the quarantine locations that Clipping mentions? Then you're saying we're all infected with this Radical 6 virus? I don't know. It doesn't really fit. I mean, none of us have shown any kind of symptoms, right? Well, I do feel a little strange. I've lost my balance a few times. My body feels kind of weird, too, now that you mention it. That's probably just because you were asleep for so long. 
私たちが閉じ込められたことには何も関係がないと。Are you suggesting that our incarceration here has nothing to do with this article? 俺は関係ないと思うけどな。Yeah, <laughs> Dio's like, yeah, probably. Granted, he knows what the outside world is like, and that Radical Six probably has a rampage through, you know, most of mankind. 第一順番が逆だろ。It just doesn't add up. The order is backwards. Maybe if we'd been thrown in here after this virus started spreading. But right now, it looks like we were abducted before this thing turned into a pandemic. How does that make any kind of sense? Besides, you found that article in the safe, right? ゼロボスが俺たちにそいつを読ませようとしてわざと配置しておいたってことになる。Besides, or that means Zero Senior put it there specifically so we could find it and read it. どうしてそんなことをしたんでしょう、ゼロボスは。Why would Zero do something like that? ここがその隔離施設だと思わせるためだよ。So that we think this place is a quarantine facility. そういう舞台設定だと示すためにそいつを金庫の中に。So that we think what Zero wants us to think. 舞台設定と。How do you mean? このゲームを盛り上げるための仕掛け、大道具のことだ。And this thing is just a, a prop, something to set the scene. その意味で言うと、新聞の切り抜きの方は小道具ってことになるな。Zero's trying to freak us out. つまりその記事は偽物、作り物ってことだよ。That article is a fake. You've got a point. If it was real, why cut it out? Just leave a newspaper with the article circled in a red pen or something. だろ Right? ゼロボスのエロ手を抜きやがって。That lazy baka. 新聞を丸ごと偽造するのは手間がかかるから、切り抜きなんてもう。Probably too much of a pain to fake a whole paper. なあ、シグマ。さっきの記事の裏側はどうなってる ?What does the other side look like? The other side? Oh, uh, hold on. It's black. ほらな、言わんこっちゃない。See? There you go. 記事の裏側が真っ黒に塗りつぶされてるなんてこと。Why would a newspaper just be black on one side? Well, perhaps there was an ad there. An ad? <laughs> Some sort of full page ad with a black background? No. I'd bet you money an article like this was front page news. It's too big of a story. And I really don't think they put full page ads on the back of the front page. Exactly. Even I know that, and I can count the number of times I've read a paper on one hand. If Zero Senior really wanted to trick us, why not go all out? Only an idiot would fall for this. It's pathetic. Am I right or what? I suppose you do have a point. Yes, I agree. Dio's being so manipulative in pushing this conversation, steering it in a particular direction, right? Besides, I don't remember ever hearing any news about any pandemic. If it was really killing hundreds of thousands of people, I'm pretty sure that would have been on the news or something. You're right, we would have heard about it. Hmm. Yeah, Fi's not 100%, you know. Drinking that Kool Aid. Alright, let's have a look around, see if we can find anything else. Good idea. I'll be off then. What about you guys? The consensus seemed to be that they intended to remain. Okay. See you all later. With a wave, I made my way to the exit. Where to next? So now we have the option of going to the infirmary or the crew quarters. We still need to talk to Clover and Alice, Tenmyoji, and Quark. Especially if we can talk to them in pairs. Given that we already had that little bit of a hint, that connection between Alice and Clover, from seeing them talk behind the divider, I'm curious to see if we're actually going to get more insight into their relationship and their history in this timeline. And then similarly, with Tenmyoji and Quark being isolated, we might get more insight into their relationship, which would be really informative as well. So we're going to investigate that, of course, in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. 
Classic Virtue's Last Reward, we chose Ally, the game sets us up to, you know, hit us right where it hurts in the heart and betrays us, but, you know, that's it's not too new for Virtue's Last Reward at this point, right? So we, we took it, and now we're back in the information gathering process. I am a little bit excited to see that there have been some differences this early on in the timeline, just like little subtle things that are enough to be to warrant paying attention to and kind of filing away in your brain and make me look forward to see how to see how things are going to diverge and just how much they're going to diverge later on but anyways until the next episode this is moon knight zero and this mission is complete